I want you to start seeing something bigger. I know you're all successful. I'm talking about something really big for your life. And in order to do that, you have to answer this question. What do you really want? Now, I'm not talking about something small. I'm not talking about a little haiku. I'm not talking about renovating your kitchen. I'm not talking about signing on 10 new customers this month. I'm talking about what you really want. You know, three years ago, I was a lawyer and a business coach working with private clients and big corporations all over the country. And I came to a seminar, just like this one, a big leadership seminar. And I went there with my husband. We're both business owners. And I went because I wanted to be more successful. And I went because I wanted to make even more money than I already did. And I was sitting exactly where you are. In fact, I was sitting about, I don't know, 15 rows back, right where that woman with her hand on her hand like, yet yeah, you? Yeah, she's like, hi. Um, was sitting, and I was taking notes, and I'm like, okay, I'm here to make more money. And then all of a sudden, she walked on stage. That is Martha Beck. She writes a column for Oprah Winfrey. She travels around the country speaking. She's a best-selling author. And when she walked on stage, I literally stopped listening. Please keep listening to me right now. <laughs> and it hit me. I said, I want to be doing that. I'm ready for a bigger state. Like, that's it. And what's so interesting about when you answer that question is that you don't answer it up here. You answer it here. That's how you see something bigger for yourself. You know, you guys are really cute because everybody's like, I don't see it. What do you, I don't see anything for myself right now. I, now I'm just confused. I thought I knew what I wanted. You know, and now, Mel, I, I'm not really sure. And right now, the economy is so bad. I mean, it's so bad that even if you're successful, I know sometimes I feel embarrassed talking about my success around some of my friends because I know that they're really struggling. And I get calls every day into the radio show, people saying, oh, I've got this great idea, but I just don't know if it's the right time. And you know what I say to them? I say, yeah, you know, you're right. The recession, it's, it's huge. You should wait. Those dreams, yeah, put them on hold. That's right. Yeah, you, 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 should, you should stay in that job you can't stand just a little bit longer. You get college bills to pay. I mean, you know, what you're doing, it's fine. You're busy, right? That guy you're dating, he's good enough for you. But for the people in this room, baloney. You know, that's right. You know exactly what you want. And the only thing that you need to do is to admit it. Now, this may sound weird because I know most of you came in here because you're like, I know what I want. I'm here at success. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm talking about something bigger, much bigger. I'll admit to you what it is that I'm up to. And the truth is, it's embarrassing. Because when you lock on to something way bigger than where you're at, it is downright embarrassing to tell people. Because you're not there yet. But I mean, in th at this rate, I've already admitted to you that I stalked Martha Beck and that I brought a haiku to the best you know, lit agent in the country, so I got nothing to lose at this point. So this is what I want. <laughs> well, not him. I'm married. I want what he's got. I want 600 radio stations. I want 2 million listeners. And I could certainly deal with the $400 million salary. In fact, if I got it, I'd renovate everybody's kitchen. <laughs> and you know, the, 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 the thing is, though, that's so interesting about this is that I didn't pick him. I mean, I, I'm not looking to become a cigar-smoking, conservative, political guy that like stirs the pot and makes everybody all mad. I'm the liberal lifestyle gal that's trying to help people out. But what I want to do is I want to use radio to entertain people and help them achieve their dreams. And when I really think about it, he's the one that's in the front. I want to not only reach what he's doing, I want to surpass him. I mean, do you think I like it when my friends come over to my office in Boston at my house and they're like, what is that guy doing on your board? No, it's embarrassing. 
when you admit the big thing that you're up to, it's embarrassing. I have 40 stations. He's got 600. There's a big gap. So admitting where you want to get to is embarrassing. But you got to do it.